Um, the um, okay. Mamata image. Um, so um, let's see. Here we have one. Um, so the work evokes different senses. The photo is full of vibrant colors. Is there meanings, meaning behind these colors? Also, lemon squeezing could be laborious when done with a manual squeezer. What other kitchen-related activities to convey such a message? So there's two Sorry. questions. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, but you cut out in one of them. So um, I'll, I'll go see if I can find the questions. Um, no, um, well, one of the questions is, um, uh, the work evokes different senses. Your photos are full of colors. And is there meanings behind these colors for your Mamata image? Behind the colors themselves, um, I am very attracted to bright colors, but um, when I wanted the, the picture to be visually engaging, but in terms of actual meaning, it really is, um, those are things that are in my kitchen because that piece is very much about um, how do I create art in the midst of, of all the busyness of life around me? Um, you know, I'm cooking dinner, I, I get home from work and then I go to cook dinner and I'm paying attention to people who have needs that are, you know, asking me for this or that. So how do I create art in the midst of all of that that's still part of my, my life? The, the whole being with my children and not in spite of them. Um, and so really the meaning there is just, um, cup that is in my kitchen because when I moved into this house somebody left it behind and that's my green cutting why they're there because they're part of my life but um they're not it's not you know planned ahead of time no I I, I did shooting that I shot at that piece several times the first time I shot it the first time I shot it very quick it was in the middle of cooking dinner I was making a soup that required lemons so I and said suddenly, hey, this is something I want to photograph. And so, um, so I uh, and started photographing it. So I did end up reshooting it and try it with um, a different measuring cup, but I didn't love the red. But, uh, Um, I am. I'm. Yeah, uh, so um, the question relates to squeezing lemons, which could be laborious, you know, labor intensive, because you're doing it with maybe a manual squeezer by hand. And so, are there other kitchen related activities that could could convey a similar message? Yes. Well, you know. Um, I'm, this is something I'm piece of. So um, another question relates to how you set up your composition. Um, it seems as, it seems as though you put um, the viewer can instinctively put together the order in which each of the objects came into the scene in terms of composition. So did you purposely approach this project? with the intent of applying techniques of picturesque beauty, or was that an intended, unintended byproduct? Um, these are the two questions. That was, uh, these are the questions I shared with you earlier. Yeah, I really did not plan ahead when I, when I laid them out. I mean, that really, how it looked. I, I did move things around a little bit. And as I said, I reshot it. But I found that I, I had to go back to the original image because um, the original image was slightly out of focus, which I wasn't happy with. But I did have to go back to the original image because um, uh, I, I really liked that very kind of um, spontaneous, the spontaneity of that first scene. So I didn't plan it. That's really how it was. They were placed down there the lemon juice is all over the board. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, there was the um, other question. You have the questions I sent you earlier um, in terms of the mixture of colors. 
and how you're talking about a mother's sacrifice toward her children um, with this image of the lip that is sucked dry. And so the question is, uh, should this concept of sacrifice in Mamata be restricted to the to the mother as a sac uh, as a sacrifice could be uh, involved in uh, in the context of other relationships between friends or lovers or soldiers, the whole notion of sacrifice. Yeah, this this particular image, I think, is um, is really very maternal. The things that um, I saw in it really after I shot it was this the the lemons are really very similar to breasts. And so it brings in this idea of how the mother actually physically gives of herself when she's breastfeeding her children. Um, and then that feeding of children throughout their lives. So it's so often I think with mothering, we think of these small children and we think of images that have to do with kind of these sweet, you know, mother and child or and forget the the constant, I want to say drain, but I don't, it sounds so negative, um, but like the constant calling on of energy reserves um, throughout taking care of children, whether they're small or they're teenagers, um, and feeding them is something that is consistently required of us. So as a, when my children were small babies, I consistently fed them, you know, milk, and then as they grow older, I have to consistently feed them including making dinner. And so to me, this image really is very much about um, a care, it's a, it's a, the energy of caring for someone, which tends to be maternal, it doesn't have to be maternal, but I don't, I don't see a lover's sacrifice here or a friend's sacrifice or a buddy's sacrifice. I really Whoa. do see this as a maternal. Hi. Okay. Um. Well, we I have guess, a question for you. Yes, I see that. Um, I think gender definitely makes a difference in my work. Um, there's a really an assumption, I think, a lot that's still true today, that women are, are the primary caregivers in the home. And um, I think that, I don't think that that's true of every situation. I think as a majority, it is true. And so um, I think that, yes, the fact that means that I um, have the majority of the care, that there's an expectation that I will be a certain kind of mother. So a lot of my work has dealt with kind of my identity as a mother and what a mother is or is supposed to be um, and kind of my interpretation of that. So yes, gender has played a very uh, strong role in my work. And, you know, a big challenge that we face as women is um, um, all you know ethnicities and colors and and cultures um in particular just as women um without considering the intersectionality of it um i think a, a big challenge that we face is is having time and having kind of recognition and space and by space i don't mean um or a separate space i mean even the mental space and the space to create work Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm still my I I don't know why this is deciding it doesn't want to. Um, kick me out again. So. But it might. So um, I guess this is not coming up. Um, can you hear me? Uh, just a little. Okay. This, this is okay. working with no, no problem, but um, maybe it's just over. Okay. 
unfortunately, I got just a piece that I have. Um, so I just wanted to say back to the question about other kitchen items. Um, my So I'm really working on this idea of I kind of move between starting with the word and making an image to go with it or having an image and then connecting it to a word. Um, so, yes, I'm I'm I've got a image that I'm working on. Um, I've got laundry. Um, I've got the other piece that is in the show is called Shredded, and it's a huge pile of shredded paper um, that references kind of the whole um, work that I do of of taking in all the paperwork that I have to deal with. So um, that's maybe two financial statements and other statements that I don't want to just uh, recycle. So I've had to shred them. Um, but there's just constant paper. House. So I'm trying to kind of reference that energy expulsion that I do. The piece that's in the show, Cynthia? No. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think some people can see it. Yeah, I, I was having trouble last night seeing some. Oh, there, there, now I see it. Yeah. This is the piece <laughs> called Mama. Yeah, this is the piece called Mama. And, and I guess I, I should point out is a word that we use in Spanish, in Colombia in particular. They just, we use it when we're completely exhausted and it literally means suck dry. So it's a little bit of a, um, a, a slang term that's not, uh, Colombia tends to be more vulgar than some of the other countries in terms of how we use Spanish. So, um, it's probably a little vulgar in some uh, languages, but in Colombia, this is what you would just say. And, and when I was doing this image, how I felt was I just felt completely mamada at the end of that day. So there's a, a big theme for me. But really what I'm 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 really concerned in thinking about, you know, who does certain labors and and this idea that 150 130 years ago, Gilman, Charlotte Gilman was writing about, you know, who was doing labor. And in 20 years ago, Naomi Wolf was talking about how it really hadn't changed that the expectation for home labor and domestic labor is really on women. And so um, I'm still exploring that and how, um, and I think for this, I'm exploring this too because I'm interested what keeps me from creating. And it's like that labor that I have to do, that constant labor really does keep me from creating. But then I want to kind of subvert that and turn it into what I create and make it part of my creation. Oh.